Welcome back. This is China coming to you from my channel, That Girl China, with another Dollar Tree haul. I've got a lot of cool stuff to show you today. Um, well, I always say that, and I hopefully you will like um, the items that I picked out for today's haul. This is not going to be a large haul, surprisingly, because usually I do um, large hauls, and my videos tend to run over 30 minutes, and. Um, I think yesterday's video was actually like in the 50 something minute range, which is unusual for me, but there was just so much cool stuff to show. So I kind of um, ha still have enough stuff to do another large haul or to do two like medium sized ones. So I decided to break it up and to do two medium ones because remember I am doing a drawing for what was the next thing I was going to be doing a drawing for? Um, the beauty bag, the floral beauty bag. Um, and the last day to enter is Friday. So that means Saturday I'm going to be doing uh, a drawing for all those that entered and for that beauty bag. Um, if you have not gotten a chance, it's in the last video that I uploaded called um, Daddy's... Uh, what was it? That's sad because I, I videoed it yesterday and I can't even remember what I called it. It was um, Daddy's Day Giveaway. Daddy's Day Giveaway. So the, um, the giveaway beauty bag is featured in that video and if you want to see what's all in there, I would check that video out. Um, and I will be drawing for that one on Saturday of this week. So you have until I believe the 4th. Um, of fr uh, this week, 4th of June, which is going to be Friday, to enter into that contest. And just remember that you do have to be 18 years of age or older, a resident um, or of the United States of America, and also a subscriber. And you have to say a floral beauty bag or gift bag, wh whatever it is that's in the comment section of that video. I've already forgotten. I'm, I, I promise you. Um, I'm very, very forgetful. And I literally, literally did this video yesterday. Okay, so the intro is running long. So let's dive in to what I have to show you today. And I do have a favorite of um, what I found. And I these I do not plan on giving away because they're just so cute. But I do have a lot of stuff that I do plan on giving away, including um, the um, three tote bags that were in the intro. So the last time I pointed in the wrong direction, so they're either on this side of the intro, um, when the intro starts, and then after it'll show you tote one, tote two, tote three. I'm 10 subscribers shy of doing a drawing for those three tote bags that have everything from eyelashes to nail stuff to um, eyeshadows and all kind of cool stuff. Um, so again, just need 10 more subscribers to hit the 285 mark so we can do that giveaway as well. So not only are we doing the floral beauty bag giveaway, but we also have those three really cool totes. Now if it, the, it's not, the intro isn't this way, then it's that way. So I'm not sure, but either way, those three tote bags are going to be up for grabs. Just need 10 more subscribers. So as soon as they hit that mark, we'll be doing a drawing for that. And then we have um, the Daddy's Day giveaway, which is the dad totes that I put together, um, which I also showed in that video, the Daddy's Day giveaway video. I have three tote bags, so we'll be doing that giveaway as well. That doesn't have a number of subscribers required to enter is just going to be the next one since uh, Father's Day is coming up. And then after that, we're going to be doing a phone nail giveaway, which is a lot of fun. And I've got some more coming up. Um, and in case you haven't noticed, I like to give stuff away. So I'm constantly going to be doing that. Okay. So back to where we were supposed to be doing, which was the um, showing you the stuff that I got. Okay, so I found some really, to me, these are really chic water bottles. 
and I found them in these two colors. Now, what I like about them is they have this rubberized grip around them. They are BPA free, and then you have the matching top. I only found them in these two colors, which is this blush pink. Um, really love this blush pink. It's like a peachy, but it's more pink color. Um, so I found this and it is uh, not for hot liquid. So we know that it's not dishwasher safe. So you're going to want to hand wash this sucker right here. But I, this one is my favorite of the two. Uh, but gray is also very chic, very nice. And so it also came in this gray. Um, and so, you know, if you're trying to drink more water or you're doing infused water with like fruits, um, or you do the ones where you drop the little packets in there or whatever it is that you like to drink, iced coffee would work in here too. Um, I found these bottles. They could also make very cute additions to gift sets. Um, if you're doing like a workout gift set, a spa gift set. Um, it really doesn't matter because they're just so pretty. Also, if you do like a gardening one, because you know, when you're outside, you're spending a lot of time in the sun and you're gonna need to stay hydrated. And I don't know about you, but I go through bottle after bottle after bottle of water um, when I'm doing anything uh, for an extended period outside. So um, if you like them, pick them up. I found them in the aisle where all like the plastic bowls and all that stuff is at. And in case you haven't noticed, I am wearing Dollar Tree Sassy and Chic nails, and this is what they look like. Now, I got a lot of compliments on these, and then I got kind of insulted. Okay, so let me tell you that story. So this is what they look like on, and I'm sure you guys have probably seen them. I've actually had them for a while, but I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling them, um, but I decided I was going to go ahead and try them because I'm usually pretty tame with my nails i do like solid colors i may have one that has some kind of design on it but i'm like you know what step out of your you know your what is it called step out of the box you know try to be a little bit more adventurous and i really do like them and i came across a lot of ladies and i got a lot of compliments and then i came home and that's when it happened my son saw my nails and he said why are you um why are you repping cruella deville nails so he basically said my nails look like cruella deville so what are your thoughts on these i think they're cute i think he's a guy he has uh he doesn't have a dog in the fight you know he he doesn't know about women and their nails he doesn't get his nails done so he doesn't have anything to tell me about it but do these remind you of cruella deville and after he said that that's all i could see and i was humming the song like cruella deville cruella deville i kept looking at my nails and i was just singing the song um but i still think they're cute and if i see them again i most certainly will buy them again and i will wear them again and i will rock them out because i think they're cool all right, so now let's jump to the next thing that I found. They have so many Maybelline products right now at the Dollar Tree. It is unbelievable. This is just some of them. Because remember, I'm trying to keep this haul medium size. And so I'm going to show you the other Maybelline products that I found in, um, uh, on Saturday's uh, video. Okay, so guys, I found this Vivid Matte Liquid. And it is a color sensational lip lip color and it is by Maybelline hopefully the camera will allow us to focus look at this and look at this vibrant beautiful color it is in this hot pink or like a fuchsia perfect absolutely perfect for summer and and I want the camera to show you that this is Maybelline it says Maybelline right here actually um, but it may or may not show you but in case that that doesn't um, help I found L'Oreal as well. So we found this L'Oreal, um, it's called Infallible Paints Metallic Lips. So it, uh, lip provides all day coverage, uh, color coverage. Our long wear liquid lip color feels light for all day comfort, never sticky. Um, and it's smoldering eclipse. Look how deep, like a deep burgundy, a deep wine color this is. Um, I don't know if it looks like this or actually like this here in the package. 
Um, but again, L'Oreal, a name brand. It doesn't stop there. I have more name brands and I will be so happy to show you them in Saturday's video. So save yourself a mo some money from going to like, you know, like Sephora or the uh, Walgreens or Dwayne, Dwayne Reed or wherever it is that you pick up your makeup or Walmart, Target. Hit up the Dollar Tree first, see what you can find and believe it or not, you can find name brand products. And again, L'Oreal and Maybelline, two very well-established, well-known, tried and true um, makeup brands. All right, guys, another name brand product. And I, I went ahead and picked it up. This is Colgate, um, and it comes baking soda and peroxide whitening. You're getting 25% um, extra free. This is a full size a full size um tube of toothpaste so in this one it is getting you're getting five ounces so normally what you see at dollar tree are going to be the smaller ones um which are like you know for like a single person this is a family size one and it is a brand colgate um i've seen crest up there i've seen oral b up there um what is another one um the red one i can't remember the name a cl uh, close up that's that's another name brand um and for a dollar you know darn well if you went to target or walmart or anywhere else to pick up this toothpaste this sucker would run you on average about three dollars um for this type and it comes in with the baking soda and the peroxide for the whitening so if you want to like um just up the whitening factor add um what is it um actual baking soda and peroxide to this i do it like in a little bowl and i make a little paste and then i brush my teeth and it just makes your teeth all the whiter because it's taking what's already in here you're um upping the ante a little bit you're upping the the um the ingredients and it'll whine your teeth so much you'd be so surprised and it'll save you on having to go have them freshly white you just have to do it periodically i do it on average about every two weeks and it does work guys okay another thing is if you're going to be spending a lot of time in the sun obviously you want to make sure that you're using sunblock which you're supposed to be doing year round because even on a cloudy day you can get sunburned and yes i've gotten sunburned when it was cloudy it looked like it was going to storm and i got sunburned so a great thing to pick up is aloe vera gel so this is max block um, and it says after sun aloe vera soothing gel moisturizing relief. So look how many ounces you're getting. You're getting a lot of aloe vera gel. So it's 9.7 ounces and it says for soothing after sun skincare, use it to soothe minor burns, skin irritations, dry rough and sunburned skin. And it just says to apply freely on body and face and to reapply it as desired. And then it lists, of course, the ingredients. So I went ahead and picked it up. I haven't gotten sunburned yet, but I have been spending some time in the sun. You can probably see how my skin is kind of tanning here. Um, but yeah, you just gotta be really careful. Um, and you definitely wanna be wearing your sunblock, but sometimes in spite of the fact, um, if you're not reapplying it, as it does wear down after a few hours, depending on the level of coverage, you may wind up getting sunburned. And this is a great way to help with the pain while you go through the healing process. Okay, let me put you guys on a real quick pause. I'm gonna bring some more items into the shot and I will be right back. All right guys, so in my previous video um, titled Daddy's Day Giveaway, I showed you guys that they were still selling masks. Now some of you uh, may be in a state or a city that's no longer requiring masks, um, but there are still some employers that are requiring that you wear a mask while you're at work. Um, in the, my case, um, we are required to wear masks. So even if we have the um, vaccination shot, that's just the employer's preference. Hopefully at some point, um, this won't have to be um, a daily thing anymore, but for the time being, this is kind of where we're at. Now with that being said, um, I showed in my previous video and mentioned that they are putting out these packages of disposable masks and what I like about them is they have a lot of beautiful solid colors and patterns for both children and adults, men and women. Um, so because I've been wearing a lot of black um, lately to work, um, I bought a lot of black um, base ones. So I had a black 
and gray plaid one that I showed in that previous video. And I also mentioned that I picked up this um, black and white polka dot one. You're getting 10. They're very comfortable and they do have that metal so you can clip it around um, the nose area to help protect um, and to keep it on your face. Now what it says here on the packaging is it's three non-woven uh, filtering material, elastic ear loop, inter internal wire for personalized fit, which is that nose area, and that it filters out dust, pollen, smoke, and other pollutants in the air, soft and easy to breathe through. And I did find it easy to breathe through. Um, it's very comfortable, and I uh, very much like the print, guys. They also had red and black buffalo checker print for those guys who... For those of you who like that, and then this one's kind of like a charcoal-ish, kind of heather gray, I picked this one up as well. Um, but again, they have all kind of colors and all different kind of prints, and you're getting 10 per pack. So I basically spent $3 to get 30 disposable masks. Now my employer does provide them, but they're those blue you know, ones that you typically would see in a medical setting. And um, I don't know why, but I like to kind of coordinate my mask with what I'm wearing, but that's just me, cause um, I'm a little bit extra. Okay guys, now this was my favorite, favorite find this week. Um, in case you can't tell by my bedroom, I kind of am into that whole like bo tribal bohemian look. And when I saw these, I had to have them. And I'm sure you guys have seen them in other videos, which are candles. So this one says Midnight Jasmine Scented Candle. Um, it is, let's see if it tells you how many ounces. Um, no, it doesn't, but usually, uh, oh yeah, it is. It's three ounces. And it comes with this little wooden lid. I don't know if you guys can see it, the lid. I just love the wood and then the naturalness of the wood and then the tassel that this is everything for me if it was just like this i'd be like oh okay yeah that's cute i do like it i like the print on the side okay i love how it has a tribal print but this brings it up like to another level first it's like way down here and then you add this cute little wooden lid with this little tassel and now it's like way up there so it's so adorable it looks like something you get like maybe like on anthropology um i don't know some higher end store is just so gorgeous so i found it in this um color and this scent although it's not heavily scented it's lightly scented i mean it does have a scent but to me, it wasn't really about the scent, it was about the, the look. Um, this would be so cute as part of like a gift set. Okay, and then they had it in blue, my favorite color. Um, and this one is called Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt. And look, just look at this gorgeous, gorgeous tribal, very bohemian pattern. And again, the wood and this adorable little tassel is er it, this is everything to me this is like so everything if someone bought me this i'd be like so tickle pink i'm telling you this one's a little bit tighter and yeah it does this one smells like a man like a man's deodorant or male cologne so yeah they are scented but it's very lightly so i'm thinking that if you were to burn them it would be something you would burn like in a uh, small room like a bathroom or a very small bedroom and then i'm sure you would be able to get that scent and there is a fourth one, which I did not find, but I've seen other people um, haul it. This one is Prosecco and Rosé, and or maybe it's Rose. Yeah, Prosecco and Rose. Okay, so now Rosé. Um, and again, look at that gorgeous print. If you guys are into this tribal print, you definitely need to run to the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. And look at the cute little pink tassel. Um, again, I just, yeah, and this one, oh, this one smells really good very good but i almost don't want to burn them because they're so cute i don't want to burn them they're too cute i just want to keep them like this forever and ever and ever um and just kind of like hoard them um i'm one of those kind of people you have something that's cute and you just kind of want to hoard it um you know like with stickers and journals and things like that you buy it and it's so cute that you don't want to use it because you want to keep it in its original state um those i'm not going to give away y'all but if you like them definitely be on the lookout for them um they had a lot of new candles out um and which i showed you guys the peony one yesterday on yesterday's video 
but these were my favorite and these are my favorite find so far this week okay so let's keep it moving um because as you know i'm going to be doing a nail giveaway a faux nail giveaway now i know i've shown you a uh, guys um uh, recently just these the shorter ones but trust and believe i will be including longer ones for those of you guys who like longer nails so when i do the long uh i'm sorry i'm sorry when i do the nail giveaway i will have shown you at that point all the nails that i collected and i will be providing the glue as well so that's coming up very soon okay so let's take a look at these as you are aware for those of you who are regular dollar tree shoppers um the d tiers as i like to call them they've had a lot of this um, marble this grayish whitish um colored marble they have it on plates they got it on trays um they have it on this really cool tray which i was thinking you could put like sushi on wouldn't that be cute that tray is cute have you guys seen it and it looks like it could go for an office or it could be like our charcuterie board or it could be like a little you know like a little food tray or whatever you can use it for whatever you want to um but that's off subject we're talking about the print the print is marble so you're getting 12 it's by sassy and chic which is the same brand that made these and you get the two extra for sizing and they're so easy to apply and these are in the scoville shape so again i will be providing the glue and these are going to go into the giveaway set so one last look at the marble ones okay so those are going to go in there and then uh, for those of you who like you know your standard french tip or your french manicure look we have uh, this one here where it has that pink and then the white tip here um, again in the scoville shape um, so these are not terribly long and you're getting 12 also by sassy and chic and so sassy and chic on average last about a week for me um, it just really depends on what all you do um, usually the problem that I'll have with sassy and chic will be um, fading at the tips um, but I am on the hunt for like to see if they have kiss because I've seen other haulers show kiss and I'm also looking for LA colors because those um, can last up to two weeks where sassy and chic tends to last a week but here here you go you got week one week two and you're covered um and if you for four dollars actually five that would cover you for an entire month if you have a four week month you got your four dollars on your nails your dollar on your glue and you got a whole month covered and um you don't have to spend the fifty dollars and plus the tip or whatever it is that you pay um your manicurist or at your nail salon to have your nails done okay so still on the um subject of nails i found these for um the little girls so um again as mentioned you know if you're going to be having like a little birthday party these would make uh really cute gifts um to throw into the little um, giveaway bags that people do for birthday parties um also a slumber party or if you're doing your nails and you want to do them with your daughters or your daughter these would be also a really fun idea um these already come with glue because they're peel and stick and they're in this llama design which i hope shows up and the same thing you're getting the two extra for sizing and usually the sizing is the pinky and the thumb that's where um most of the sizing varies so i went ahead and included those so those are the nails that i picked up um I've got more nails to show you, but I'll show you those on Saturday, and those are going to be going into the um, nail giveaway as well. Okay, now on to these super adorable string lights. Um, so I found these. It's 3.6 feet, and these are little peaches. I'm going to try my very best to show you the little peaches in these little string lights. So they do require batteries. Um, you need two AA but of course you guys know you can get those batteries at the Dollar Tree and that is inclusive of name brand. I've picked up Panasonic, Kodak, um, Energizer batteries at the Dollar Tree and they do have other brands as well. But look at those adorable little peaches. Aren't those cute? And these will be cute for any little girl's room, um, a tween, a teen. Um, if you're sending out like, um, what is it called? Those, um, those packages uh they have a name i can't think of it right now oh no that's not i'm sorry those were not the peaches those were the cherries so if it didn't look like a peach that's why these are cherries guys sorry these are cherries so it came with cherries 
but it did come with peaches. Look at these. Now these definitely look like peaches. I'm sure you can hopefully see them. Let me turn it around so you can see them a little bit better. Look at that. Aren't they cute? That is so adorable. They're so adorable. They had a third type. Um, I think it was pineapple. So I didn't pick them up because I've seen the pineapple ones before. So I didn't pick those up, but the the little um, peaches and the little cherries were just so adorable. I couldn't pass them up. And now these are gonna get donated to MD Anderson. Um, uh, some item, other items here as well, um, but we'll get into that. Okay, so more stuff. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera. That's why I always put you guys on pause because when I move stuff, the camera shakes. This book was so cool looking to me and I hope this shows up on camera. I had to pick this up. Now this looks like it would be for like tweens or teenagers. Um, it's called The Slither Sisters by Charles Gilman, Tales from Lovecraft Middle School. And this is number two. So apparently this is a series. Okay, let's see if you guys can see what I see. Okay, so here's some girls. What I'm seeing is two girls um, that are redheaded, um, like sisters. They look like twins. And then as you start to turn the book, they become like Medusa. Do you see that? Are y'all able to see that? Where they look like Medusa and they kind of have snake eyes. I really hope that's showing up on camera. I think this is the coolest thing ever. And just the, as soon as I saw the cover, I'm like, yep, I'm buying that. And this is going to get donated to MD Anderson. So it says two headed monsters, giant tentacles, angry demons. Lovecraft Middle School is great, creepy fun. Um, so uh, looks can be deceiving. Sarah and Sylvia Price may resemble ordinary middle school students, but they're actually hideous monsters in disguise. Even worse, they're campaigning for student council student council with a secret plan for abducting the entire seventh grade the only ones brave enough to stop them are 12 year old robert arthur and his best friends the school bully the school ghost and a very hungry two-headed rat this second novel of the lovecraft middle school series begins right where professor gargoyle ended with more action more adventure and more outrageous monsters and this book originally cost 13.99 so a great deal for what seems like a very interesting read. And so I will be donating that. But if you have a very active reader in your household, I know summer's coming up, um, but sometimes you have kids that like to read and you wanna keep them reading during the summer so they don't lose those reading skills um, or if you wanna keep them busy. Um, and in my case, I'm donating them to a hospital, which is also a really good deal or idea. Um, you know, go buy the Dollar Tree because they have a lot of books, including New York Times bestseller list makers. Also found this cute little decor, this little picture frame, which can sit or be hung up. So here's the back. So if you wanted to hang it up, um, I just thought it was super adorable with the um, pineapples, both in pink and their um, normal color. It's kind of got that orangey color, yellow color and it says tough but sweet. The frame is a glittery gold. I think this is so adorable. I think um, not only would this look good in a bookshelf, but you can hang it up and make it part of like a collage. Um, it, this could be for both an adult, a teenager, or a tween. Um, you could put it in your office. You could put it on your desk um, or in a bookshelf. You can put it in your daughter's bedroom. There's so a lot many uses for it. Um, I thought it was so adorable how to pick it up. I um, also found this puzzle bug. This is a hunter piece by Crazy Art. And look how fun this looks. Very vibrant, so adorable. Look at all the candy. Um, and this looks like this would be a lot of fun to put together as a family or um, you know, if your kids wanna do it um, by themselves or if you guys wanna maybe sit down at the kitchen table and work on it together. Or you can always send it with grandma and grandpa um, if you're having your kids visit. Um, so there's so many things that you can do with this. These are also, they make great donations. You know, um, not everybody can afford to go buy $30, $40, uh, gifts to donate to, you know, like Toys for Tots. But these also make very good gifts as well. Um, especially for that time of the year. So if you want to get started now, start up your collection so you'll be ready when that time of the year rolls around. Um, I would hit up the Dollar Tree. You can also use these as stocking stuffers. So I thought this was really cute, so I went ahead and picked it up. 
Okay, so despite this being a medium haul, medium, and I use that term uh, loosely, um, we're gonna run over 30 minutes. Okay, picked up these three notebooks by Jot, these journals. And as you know, um, I collect journals because I'm gonna be donating to the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. So this is gonna be, you know, like for maybe the kiddos, the teenagers, the tweens, um, you know, so if they wanna write down, um, you know, journal while they're there, they wanna doodle. Um, I uh, always try to pick up really cute ones. Now it says that all of these are lined and you're getting two in each package. So the first up is this tropical one with this beautiful tropical pink background and then you have all the, this beautiful tropical foliage and this beautiful blue. Now this reminds me of the Golden Girls for obvious reasons. I'm thinking this is Blanche's bedroom. So for fans of the Golden Girls, as like that's like my favorite TV show next to like Seinfeld. Um, this always, anytime I see this kind of print, it's very 80s to me and it's always like uh, Miami Vice or like the Golden Girls, but definitely Golden Girls come to mind. So here we have a two pack. Again, this is how many pages? We're getting 32 and it is a ruled sheet. So they do have line, they're line pages. Second one up is um, Hello Summer and you have the pineapple and I really love the background here. Um, beautiful color scheme, always really big fan of fonts. I am so such a f huge fan of font. The right font can um, make something all the better. If you get the wrong font on there, it could go bloop, bloop, bloop and just go downhill from there. Um, but in this case, they hit it right, the nail on the head, it's perfection. And you have this, um, like a cobalt blue, um, the larger notebook. Isn't that cute? Cute little sets. And especially for tweens and teens that love this kind of stuff, um, care packages, y'all, for, you know, your college students, um, or if, you know, uh, you have people, men and women serving overseas, you can send this over to them. And then you have the final one with the rainbow. Um, I love the craft paper background look to this one. Uh, I love the simplicity of it because you have such a vibrant rainbow that, you know, you could almost make it too much or over the top where they just did it perfectly. The, the back is a neutral and then you have the rainbows with all these bright, fun colors. And then this apricot or this peach colored notebook. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cannot wait to donate them and hope that they um, make it to one of the patients at MD Anderson. I'll be back in just a moment. <coughs> okay, guys, and I'm back. Okay, I just eaten two egg rolls, and I think they were coming back for like round two. I don't know. They were delicious, though. They were really good, but um, they um, gave me a tickle in my throat. This is why I should always keep my water with me. I'm not gonna edit that out, because guess what, this is real life. And in real life, sometimes you wanna cough up your egg rolls. So, anywho, um, let's get back to the task at hand. Um, I picked up these adorable stickers. I don't know why, but I've had a couple of conversations lately with uh, mothers of sons of little boys, and they all seem to be upset and trash uh what are they called um like republic waste waste management what are they called trash removing trucks they have another name i can't think of it right now but um it came up like multiple times in a week i don't know how but it's just i don't know it's just like you're you're living in bizarre world or something where uh, people that are not related to each other and then you strike up a conversation with them they happen to have little boys and the conversation somehow leads to the same topic, how their sons are obsessed with dump trucks and um, dumpster, is it dumpster trucks? Dump, I don't know. Anyway, let me stop spending time on that. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Um, so anyway, I came, so because of that, when I was in the store, I went ahead and picked up these stickers. So we have Tonka and it comes with over 150 stickers, y'all, 150 stickers. So, um, 
They're puffy stickers, glitter stickers, foil stickers, and glossy stickers. Four sheets. So it, you may have a little girl that likes Tonka trucks. I don't know. But look at that. You got a fire truck. So these are the puffy ones. And even the little signs, detour, um, this little crane looking thing. Um, there are little girls that like these too. When my middle son was a, um, was a little boy, he was obsessed with traffic lights. Um, and I don't know, I mean, I'm talking about obsessed. He would draw them like everywhere, everywhere he'd be drawing these traffic lights. So the red, the yellow, and the green, he would just draw them and draw them and draw them and draw them. So I wound up doing, at that time they shared a bedroom. Now they each have their own bedroom. But um, when they got of age, I separated them and gave them each their own bedroom. But they had the little, um, the little Tykes cars. So one of them had like a fire truck. The other one had like a sports car. And the third one was like a little buggy. And I went to a sign company and had to make like what looked like freeway signs and um, a little traffic light. And then there was a little lamp with a little traffic light. And they never slept in their room. Their room was so cute and they were always wanting to climb into um, uh, into bed with uh, my husband and me. I'm like, no, that's why I made your room cute with the trucks. So y'all would be, or with the little car beds. So y'all would sleep over there, but no, they'd always want to be in there with us. Um, I think they were about 20 when they finally got out. No, I'm just playing. Um, but anyway, um, I, this just brought back that memory with the little traffic lights. Um, so look, here's the other set of stickers. And these foil ones. Look at that. So cute. And you know, the kids would just have so much fun with these. And then the last page here. Look at that. So cool. All right, so 150 stickers for a buck, I would call that quite the deal. Okay, for you Star Wars fans out there, I, I do not know Dilly Schmo. Well, that's not true. That's not true. I know a little bit. I know that there are Ewoks. I know that there's a thing that looks like a little trash can. I think it's called R2-D2. Um, there's one that looks like a skeleton. He's gold. And uh, C-3PO. And the one that looks like a big giant sasquatch um can't remember his name right now han solo darth vader i think that's from the first movie and i was a maybe five when i saw it so i do not remember the movie literally at all and i have not seen him ever since then so i know there's big fans though and i totally respect that there are fans of star wars and there are like avid collectors and people that go to Comic-Con and they dress up and they're super into um, the Star Wars series, the films. Um, so I totally get that, I get it. I'm just telling you, I know like almost dilly schmo about Star Wars, but because I know there's people that love this, I went ahead and picked up this sticker activity book. Um, and I really like it because there's that Sasquatch looking thing. Um, Chewbacca? Chewbacca? Is that his name? Yeah, I think it's Chewbacca. Okay, so I think this is a newer series. Um, um, and I think that's C-3PO. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it has stickers is really why I got it. And it has little scenes and you use the stickers to create the scenes. Look how cool this is. Oh, and I can't forget about Princess Leia. Let's not forget about her. Um, yeah, so look, I, and then so here are the scenes. And I bought this so that I could donate it to MD Anderson. But if you know someone who's a big fan and an avid collector of this kind of stuff, they have a lot of Star Wars merch at the Dollar Tree. Not just coloring books, but all kind of stuff. So you probably want to be on the lookout if you've never been or if you've never looked for this kind of stuff. At Dollar Tree, you definitely want to check it out. And this is actually imported by the Dollar Tree. So this is coming from Dollar Tree. And it's just super cool with the little scenes and especially the stickers. Great collector's item. Okay, so the final thing I'm going to show you is this hippo book. And what got me was just, you know, the illustration. I mean, the expression on this hippo's face is just beyond, beyond. I'm like, it had me like, oh my God, I was laughing. Okay, so Stuart Trotter is the author of this book. It's called Big Bully Hippo. And look at his face. He's like, 
you could see the attitude. I mean, you can literally feel it through the page. I, you could probably feel it through the screen. And he has his little juice box. So as big of a hippo as you are, looking like a bully, you got your stick in your hand, your weapon, and then you got like a little juice box. And then here's a little baboon and some balloons. And I believe that is a bee up there in the corner. So it's just this, it's a story, I guess, about some rude hippo. Um, but I just thought it was so cute. Um, the the cover totally got me and it looks like a very fun read. It doesn't look like it's going to take forever to read it and it would just be something fun to read with your kids. And on top of that, they had this adorable little crab right here with a little net and a little bucket. Do you see him? Is he not the super cutest thing ever? And it says it's called a rock pool children's books. Um, so yeah, I just, I just had to buy it. Look how cute this is. So this is going to get donated to MD Anderson too. But again, if you read to your children at night, um, if you guys all just pile up on the couch together and you like to read to them, you definitely want to pick up this book. It's just so adorable. It's so funny. Uh, the, I don't know, the expression of the hippo. And then of course our little crab down here. All right, guys, this brings this Dollar Tree haul to a wrap. I hope I was able to show you something that you will be on the hunt for. And don't forget, y'all, if you haven't had the opportunity, watch the Daddy's Day giveaway video and enter the contest so you can be, um, you can have a chance of winning um, that beauty giveaway, um, that bag with the beautiful flowers on it. And also 10 more subscribers. That's all we need so we can give away the three totes that were either on this side or that side, not sure. Um, after my intro, those three tote bags are up for grabs. And on top of that, the three um, tote bags for the daddy day giveaway for your dad. So we're going to want to win those too. So all those are coming up. Um, but Saturday, I'm going to do another video, another haul, and that's when I'll draw for the floral gift bag, or the beauty bag. So make sure you enter by Friday. Friday's the deadline. I hope to catch you guys at the Dollar Tree. Love you. Love you guys. Bye. Hasta luego.